Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Coding. In this episode, I'm going to be explaining um, animation nodes, MIDI uh, functions. So it's a uh, it's fairly new, so just been updated the other day. So with animation nodes, now you have MIDI nodes that allow you to read a MIDI file and simply generate animations like this. So this is one example with a keyboard. Um, yeah, the whole keyboard can be generated uh, using just a MIDI. In my example, I have something like this. So yeah, it's a very simple setup, but it's uh, working quite well. Uh, and that MIDI you just heard is something that I created using this uh, this website. Let me try playing this. Oops. Just create a new. So yeah, that's that whole thing is just generated using this online sequencer, and all I did was to export as MIDI, and also to export as OGG. Uh, Blender doesn't recognize OGG, so I convert the OGG into WAV file, and then yeah, it's all working here. So Blender. Uh, using animation nodes will read the MIDI. It doesn't generate sound from the MIDI. However, it's possible uh, to use that value to drive something like audio nodes. But that's for another uh, another video. This one is simply just reading the wave. And it's going to sync with the MIDI itself. So the, the MIDI file is out, out there, this little MIDI file simply drive three different nodes so you can see here i i am using just three different nodes uh notes musical notes and it has certain number because it's a midi so there's a lot of uh, explanation actually in um with the midi but it's actually midi is a very interesting format um so and and before i forgot i'm using blender 2.83 lts this is the LTS is long time support blender. So this is the most stable and continuously being um, updated. Um, and this will work 100% with animation nodes. So nothing will change. Um, and animation nodes simply going to work. So the, uh, this is a really good introduction to the MIDI itself. Uh, you can follow how you can grab the MIDI from uh, directory outside and then how you can get the list element this is exactly actually what I'm I'm doing so MIDI itself can have multiple instrument in my case I only have a single instrument and my instrument is electric piano so this is from the MIDI get list element just get this I only have single instrument so that's fine and from that single instrument we can grab the MIDI track and then we can view the MIDI itself so this is for every um, for the time so there's a time that's driving the notes the MIDI notes value on and off like if you if you press a button of keyboard and it makes sound and until you pull out your fingers um, it's like time on time off that's that's been handled complete, uh, completely using animation nodes there's also philosophy which is quite interesting and uh, but this guy is doing everything also uh, there's a attack time release time so um, if I try to draw it with a curve oftentimes it's looking you know a little bit like this 80 80 s R, if I'm not wrong, I forgot what it's called, but it's it's basically you can make any kind of curve graph using this attack time and release time and all this linear etc. This will ultimately will generate a value. In my case, it's of course driving three different Susan head. Okay. So what's driving Susan head in this case is not audio wave, no. Audio wave is simply just being played. However, we have MIDI 
that's driving Suzanne in real time. Okay, so it's interpret uh, interpreting uh, pretending the audio, the MIDI uh, data is being interpreted into value. Just translating Susan head ups and down. See, you see like the green one, because I'm holding this over here. I'm making I'm making this part longer. That's why Susan head is actually the one in the middle is higher and longer. Even though it's very short, you see how it maintains the height for quite a while. So, in a way, it's almost like a Pixar soul when it's uh, when the character is playing um, the music. This there is this article talking about how. MIDI files Houdini art of animation made piano play possible. It's actually uh, they're using MIDI here procedurally from a MIDI it converted into the fingers of this character. I haven't watched this one. What's the name of the character? I forgot. But that's this is kind of something that inspires me kind of but I've been trying to do this for many years. Animation nodes make it easier. Thanks to Omar, I think Omar Ahmad works on this MIDI uh, parts um, so this one using five fingers if you kind of arrange this properly that you, you can make a keyboard that's simply plays based on the MIDI just like the example I don't know if they give the blend files example maybe they don't uh, yeah but the, the example, the notes here is something that you can recreate yourself. So there are two types of data. So this one is probably what you want. But if, uh, if it's character playing the keyboard, like a complex one, five, oh, I mean five, ten, ten fingers will play on top of this. Um, think of it maybe a little bit like spiders, but since as a human, I mean, as a normal human, we have 10 fingers normally. So 10 fingers, two hands, the, the hands needs to move. However, uh, we can think of it like a little bit like a spider, you know, like two spiders. With, with five legs. So this is... Yeah, this is uh, something that you can play around with with humans sometimes. <clears throat> sometimes when, when you're playing a complex uh, piano, the, un, the, the hands sometimes need to cross over, etc. It, it's what makes the whole thing expressive. So it's, it's very... It's not easy, but interesting, you know, interesting to study. Uh, so, but anyway, in, in my case, I'm pretty happy if I just be able to play the piano like this, like a ghost piano that plays itself driven by animation nodes. Um, yeah, but in my example, it's really playing back the wave file of the MIDI while the MIDI files itself is driving three Susan head. So this one can be made more elegant but this is three, you see, uh, I forgot to mention the note number 49, 58, 68. So that's actually coming from these uh, notes with a viewer. So this gives you a listing of the notes that I press, only three different notes. And so I grab the number and simply using the evaluate MIDI track to trigger the, the value, which is ultimately driving Susan translation. Very basic example, but yeah, this is useful. And if you want to read the whole, the whole notes, you can read it here. So it's gonna play the whole, uh, the whole thing. I mean, it's it's really clever here. You can use single. There's also this all multiple. It's gonna drive a lot of notes at and play it at the same time. And you can set up 
um, something like this. So this one, maybe I'll try to make the blend. So it doesn't um, it doesn't have to be like a piano. Piano is rather complex. I'm actually happy enough if we if the if we can kind of just like record a sound like like a drum, but whenever we press the drum, uh, we kind of record it. Uh, at some point, I, I'm playing around with Apple GarageBand, and with GarageBand, you don't really have a MIDI output. However, you can you can kind of convert it into a MIDI, and it, it does work. So that's probably something that I will try. So multiple um, drum performance played um, and converted in recorded as a MIDI and then that MIDI is used to drive the animations to make like a kind of like a semi procedural like a, like a, maybe like a machine robot playing the instruments so that's ultimately what I'm trying to do and then I'm gonna I'm gonna export that as a, an AR so yeah that could be interesting so there you go that's uh, the whole thing hopefully you find this interesting thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you Bye.